You are a Cheyenne warrior, swift to the chase, yet fast to stand. On attack, you are deadly, while as another's intended prey, none is as cunning. Stalwart comrade, resourceful aid, sinewy guard, these each are you. Pathmaker, stalker, hunter, rescuer, you are a Cheyenne. This is the Cheyenne, the Lockheed AH-56A, the U.S. Army's advanced aerial fire support system being built by the Lockheed California Company, the first rotary wing vehicle developed specifically as an integrated weapon system. The Cheyenne is lean. Each aspect of this hardy, energetic armed helicopter's total system is interdependent, for in that total, no part is dispensable and none is less vital than another. But even within such a rigid context, one aspect of the weapon system is remarkable. That is the swiveling gunner's station, developed to provide the craft with a dynamically stabilized line of sight to enhance accurate delivery of weapons. From General Electric, here is what we'll deliver. A quiver or a brave. Here, the swiveling gunner's station is mounted on General Electric's unique dynamic motion simulator, specially designed and developed to duplicate the pitch and yaw of actual flight, as the gunner controls firing from belly turret, rocket, or tube-launched, optically-tracked wire-guided tow missile. He's always on target, regardless of what maneuvers the pilot may perform, since the entire station, direct sight, periscope, and gunner's seat, are mounted on a turntable which swivels a full 360 degrees. Given this capability, the AH-56A can deliver accurate, discriminating, flexible firepower and can survive. The AH-56A primary mission is the escort of Helleborn assault columns. En route, the escort must pace the convoy and keep pace with it. Be as fast as the speediest craft, creep in the air as deliberately as the slowest. And it must have quick reaction firing response, accurate over full circle to protect the column. While significant advantage lies in functioning at this station, the escort may need to divert from convoy to suppress enemy action and must be fast to return again to protect the column. These mission requirements are those the Cheyenne is built to meet. The AH-56A serves its major escort purpose in the landing zone. In the critical moments before and after the column touches down, discriminating fire support must be available. The escort must be able to dash ahead to prepare the area for convoy landing, then to provide continuous area suppression there as troops pour out. At the same time, the escort must be ready to deliver accurate point fire. And finally, it must support troops advancing over whatever problem terrain has been reached. These escort functions are those the AH-56A is built to meet. The swiveling gunner station is the heart of the system that allows the Cheyenne to perform its mission requirements. As designed, developed, and produced by General Electric, it is the most accurate fire control system flying today. The gunner is provided with both a direct sight and a periscope magnifying optical sight. This lower sight head assembly in the swiveling station includes an optical bench on which are mounted the telescopic optics, laser range finder, the tow missile guidance equipment, and a night vision sensor. The optical system provides two degrees of magnification, three and 12 power, either of which is selectable by the gunner. The external sighting view is reflected on this stabilized beryllium mirror and directed to the individual sensors and periscope eyepiece. The gunner controls viewing elevation by tilting the stabilized mirror. The same thumb control changes the azimuth position by swiveling the turntable. With this single control, he can look at target through a full 90 degree elevation range throughout 360 degrees of azimuth. The gunner's direct sight is used to acquire target and for immediate snap shooting, and it is directly coupled to the periscope sight. When the gunner places the pipper of the direct sight on a target and then transfers his eye to the periscope sight, the pipper is already on target, minimizing transfer time from one to the other and thereby giving the whole system an impressively large degree of flexibility. The swiveling gunner's station 
is a stabilized sighting system using proven inertial stabilization techniques. Any aircraft motion is automatically taken out of the gunner's line of sight. He has only to compensate for target motion by moving his thumb control. Having acquired target, he must know the exact range to it for accurate fire. The laser rangefinder, activated by a trigger switch on this left-hand control, feeds range information automatically into the computer central. There it is used for ballistic computation as well as for accurate linear motion compensation. A digital readout of range and meters is seen by the gunner in the periscope eyepiece as well as immediately beneath the direct view sight. This weapon control panel is directly in front of the gunner on the periscope pedestal. He can select either the nose turret, which may be a 7.62 millimeter general electric minigun capable of firing up to 6,000 rounds a minute, or a 40 millimeter grenade launcher, or a 30 millimeter high rate of fire cannon in the belly turret, or the tow missile. He can select both nose and belly turrets for simultaneous fire at the same target, each with a proper ballistic computation. To destroy a target such as an enemy tank, the highly accurate tow missile is controlled by IR trackers contained in the sight head. Kept on the line of sight to the target by these trackers, the missile is fired with the aircraft pointing at the target. After launching the missile, the pilot can take evasive flight measures, as stabilization will keep the reticle of the periscope tracking the target. Inside, governed by the sightline stabilization unit, the large beryllium mirror, highly polished and microscopically flat, assures that the periscope and all other sensors scan the same target. Sensors mounted on this optical bench, beyond this laser rangefinder, and the periscope optics, will include the tow missile trackers and a night vision sensor. The periscope optics contain red and yellow Polaroid filters energized by the gunner to adjust to varying tactical situations. In an emergency combat situation, should the pilot be disabled, the gunner, in his capacity as co-pilot, must return to the forward facing position as rapidly as possible in order to take over flight control. By means of this button, he is immediately returned to seat center. Should battle damage affect the electrical drive system, the turntable would be rotated manually back to center position by means of this hand crank. The entire swiveling gunner's station is designed to adhere to Lockheed's concept of an easily maintained weapon system, since each of the line replaceable units contains necessary built-in test equipment and a failure indicator. In addition, a signal is fed into the craft's fault locating audio and visual warning system. From concept to delivery, this swiveling gunner station is designed, engineered, and produced under the exacting quality control disciplines reflected in each piece of GE equipment made. Backed by exhaustive tests originated in such facilities as this laser laboratory, checked by progressive standards such as those imposed by this optical alignment stand, subjected to performance accuracies by such computerized trackers as these, fed data by dynamic motion simulator. The swiveling gunner station stands as another major contribution from General Electric to the aviation industry for the nation's defense. Here is progress. We'll deliver. Here indeed is a quiver for a brave.